Hi everybody, it's Dr. Chabot and we're nearing the end of week three and we're going to be heading into week four. So hopefully everybody's working on or at least starting to work on module five on the work kinetic energy theorem. Um, so I wanted to quickly check in. I really appreciate everybody who took the time to give some feedback in the week three survey. If you didn't have time, please send me an email with any feedback you have that would help enhance your learning in this course. So I've taken some of the feedback and I made some changes for module five and moving forward that hopefully will um, further enhance what you're provided with in order to learn this material um, as uh, efficiently and as fast as you can. And remember that I am here to help. So let me go ahead and share my screen. And what we're looking at here is just the week three guide so let me first talk about um, generally where we're at in this week. So hopefully you finished up module 4B, all those deadlines um, have passed and they, that was the second half of Newton's second law, really adding in the complexity of circles and ramps and friction. Um, I really encourage everybody to just look at these questions for post Newton second law breathers. They're not exam level questions, they're really basic level understanding questions and if you if you're having an issue with any of them then definitely reach out in email or office hours um, the project um, before moving on to module five hopefully you took some time to read through the project i did add a note here um, that if you were looking at the project if you had missed it definitely look at pivot while you look through the project description i have posted some examples of the types of things you would analyze and you can even use those if you want instead of finding your own so um, so go ahead um, and make sure to check Pivot out and, and kind of just start thinking about the project this week. Um, okay, and then that brings us to module five. And this is the one where I feel like I was able to take some of the feedback, um, which closed on Tuesday night, and then implement um, some of the changes. I'm really not changing anything, I'm more just supplementing um, that material. So what I've done is if we go over to module five, um, then in the combined concept portion. So the end of module five, I've added two videos. Um, so um, a lot of students wanted to have more guidance with learning these combined concept problems. And that makes total sense. A lot of times in an in-person class, this would be done with your peers or, um, you know, working together. If you are in a group or know that you can, you know, reach out to each other as well, I really do encourage, um, you know, that as well. But without that then you know it can be it can be frustrating and a little bit overwhelming so to help with those combined concept problems and then also to give more examples of things that don't have numbers um, i have two combined concept problems that i've worked out in detail on video um, here and i've posted them at the end of um, or in that fourth section of module five um, and then because i know some people um, don't want the video, um, they just had requested just the written solution for these combined concept problems. So what I did was I kept the solution from the video um, and you can just access that um, directly. So you can just see the written example if you don't wanna go through the whole video. So that's gonna be one thing that at the end of every module, I'll have that type of video as an additional supplement that hopefully helps um, further that understanding versus just discussing them. I'll then ha also have this very detailed work through. Um, I will mention that the second one down here, I did pick a problem from the module 4B assignment that I saw that a lot of people had trouble with. It was the two blocks on a ramp um, and I didn't grade it. A lot of people were very close in getting your equations of motion, but there were some math issues with solving for the acceleration. So I pretty much took a very similar type setup um, for that combined concept problem so that it kind of doubles as a way to reinforce Newton's second law. Okay, the other thing that um, people had requested quite um, a bit was that, and this makes total sense as well, um, would there be a way to get feedback on the assignments before you take the quiz so that you know if you did the assignment correctly? And I understand that. And so part of it was to move the quiz to the next day so that you could check in with me with anything you didn't understand. But I also, you know, totally want, totally get the idea that maybe you think you did something right, but then you didn't and you need to have that that feedback. So um, what I've done and I will do this for all assignments moving forward starting with module five um, is that the 
before I was giving a couple answers to a couple problems here and there. Now I'll give you the answers to every problem. So you will know if you've gotten it right because you'll have the correct answer. Um, so every problem now will have an answer in red. Um, and so for the grade then, and when you submit the assignment, it's going to be so that you can show the work that goes from the problem to get the answer. And that's then what will be assessed. Um, and that's what's really assessed in general. And this isn't different than what we would do in an in-person class. In an in-person class, a lot of these are the problems that you'd actually be doing in the six hours during the week in class. And I'd be walking around helping you and letting you know if you're wrong or letting you know if you're right. And so you would be getting that feedback. And so this seems like a good way to do it um, with um, still making you have to go and do the work yourself, um, but then knowing when you get it correct. So every single one of them has uh, answer, even at the very end when the answers get to be algebraic, you can see what, um, you know, whether your expression is correct or not. So, um, so I'll continue to do that for all of the future module assignments so that you'll know for sure whether you understood um, and could correctly complete each of the problems and then you know whether to check in with me before the quiz. And then the last thing I want to point out, which some people I think maybe just hadn't noticed, is that in the grade book, you don't get feedback necessarily on the grade item, but for the quizzes um, and for the assignments, if you go in and here um, I'm going to view as a student. Um, and so I can go into quizzes. And so if I just then go to a quiz and I click on submissions. It says I haven't attempted the quiz. It doesn't actually let me attempt the quizzes as students, which is annoying because I can't always tell how things work. Um, but I have not attempted this quiz. But you, if you've attempted the quiz, um, you would see then the quiz. You would see the um, questions. You would be able to see the feedback. Um, and all of that would be there um, as well. And so when you go to then assignments, um, the same thing here. When you look at what you might have uh, submitted, then you would be able to actually, um, you know, click on it and get some uh, feedback. There's the fixed rubric and you would get to see what went into your grade. So just know that there is quite a bit of um, feedback built into that portion of my courses. Okay, so um, I have updated all of the grades um, and in the grade book and you should contact me if you have um, any questions or concerns about that. Um, and keep up the hard work. I know it just feels like we're on this train and just keeps on going. The good news is that because of the project and the midterm, those might not sound like good news at first, but because of them and the way I do the schedule, I, I don't make you take those on top of everything else. We do get a breather from new content um, and then we kind of reinforce it with the project and then we take the midterm catch our breath and then we move on and learn even more new content. So um, keep hanging on in there, sign up for office hours and let me know um, if you have any questions at all.